client-side code is frequently bundled to decrease the size of the code that is sent over the wire from the server to the client. On the other hand, server-side code isn't often bundled as it is not sent to the client. The only time it would travel over the wire would be when the code is being uploaded or deployed to a server. However, this does not mean that bundling server code doesn't have any advantages. Bundling server-side code is useful for reducing the size of the code on the server. This is particularly useful for serverless systems where in AWS, for example, AWS lambdas are constantly being deployed or cold starting. If you don't know, a cold start is the delay that occurs when a serverless function is invoked for the first time or after a prolonged idle period. Another reason is that it reduces the amount of files that need to be managed. So as an example here, this is a node app that runs Express, and these are all the files that are associated with it. So the services, of course, this is a small app, so it would be a lot bigger. We'd have our node modules, but this is when it's been bundled. All we have is a server.cgs file, which is our entire application, including the node modules, and then we have a map file. So when we bundle up our code, all we have to worry about is a single artifact or a single file. And a common reason that people actually don't like to do this is because it makes debugging more difficult. Although this is kind of an outdated reason, as now most modern bundlers can output source maps, which is what this is right here, which will allow us to get the original location of the error inside our bundled server file. If you don't know what source maps are, they essentially just give us a real stack trace to errors. And if you use something like Node, you can just enable these source maps by you just run Node, enable, source maps, and then you just run the server file. However, not everyone is on board with bundling server-side code. The main reason being that the benefits that it provides to front-end apps are not replicated on the, on the back-end. In other words, bundling server-side code just adds extra complexity and adds an extra build step. Also, when generating source maps, these source maps also need to be deployed along with the bundle to the server. But me personally, I like the tree shaking that bundlers provide, which if you don't know, essentially it's they get rid of dead code. It just minimizes the size of the bundle. And then using these source maps makes debugging really not much of an issue. This honestly is more so personal preference. I just wanted to put it out there. If you like content like this, check out my courses, link in the description. Also my Chrome extension called Witceptor. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try and get back to you. Besides that, thanks for liking and subscribing and take it easy.